G'day, JD at Flux Focus here. Uh, I'm working on a circuit board uh, for work and for myself for stuff at home, um, which is going to be a, uh, I've called it a, a TFT to VGA uh, digital to analog converter. And uh, so this circuit board has a, uh, a triple DAC uh, chip on it. And um, uh, previously I, I talked about some crystals that I uh, some oscillators that I got um, and uh, those ones in there I believe uh, that one up there is the uh, 200 megahertz oscillator and uh, this one down here is either the 50 or the 80 um, megahertz oscillator so I'm just trying two different frequencies just to see what the effect of um, what the VGA analog signal will look like uh, on the output um, so I've got a couple of jumpers there um, there's a uh, a blanking jumper and uh, using uh, there's a jumper there for turning uh, a C jumpers on for it. disabling the crystals or uh, some jumpers just for routing through which Jump crystals that are there um, I'll have to point at it this one here that one uh, will control whether the amount of current that's being driven um, out of the uh, DAC uh, whether that current's going to be fixed or you can see with the pot there I can adjust uh, the amount of drive out of the uh, digital to analog converter um, and this jumper over here I wasn't quite sure whether um, th there's a number of uh, signals uh, that come out and uh, one of them uh, the green actually is six bits, uh, whereas um, the red and blue are actually five bits. Uh, so uh, the green zero, uh, I'm either going to connect through, or um, or going to set it to ground. Uh, the uh, digital to analog converter itself, I'll show you the uh, um, schematic in a second. But the digital to analog converter itself. Uh, is 8-bit channels, so what I've done um, for the moment, uh, I might have to redo the circuit board if I've got this wrong, but uh, what I've done for the moment, um, like I said, for instance, uh, red is 5 bits, so um, the 5th bit uh, for red uh, is connected to the 7th bit of the digital to analog input, um, and uh, bits uh, 2, 1 and 0 of uh, the red 8-bit input to the DAC are tied to ground. Uh, so, you know, you, you might argue that you you should tie the the high bits um, and connect them to the low, or you could argue uh, tie the low bits and uh, connect them to the to the high bits. Uh, so, uh, for the moment, I'm I've got them connected to the high bits. The connector here is um, the reason why I'm using this 40-way uh, connector. This uh, converter board has been made for the uh, GHI Embedded Master, uh, so that's uh, really the purpose that it's been created for, and uh, so that's the processor module uh, that has a capability for video out, either to a TFT quarter VGA display, uh, or you can um, c convert the signals, the digital signals, into analog VGA. And the way that uh, GHI, um, the converter board that they provide, uh, is a more or less just a resistor ladder um, changing those signals um, from digital to analog and uh, I was interested to see what the difference might be if you actually uh, did it through a, a digital to analog converter so that's uh, the purpose of uh, this uh, experiment and there's one of the boards without the components on so I'll just go to the schematic for a second Uh, over here is the getting the light properly. Over here is the 40-way connector that I was talking about. So there's uh, power out from 3.3 um, volts out of a couple of the pins. There's ground um, mixed in amongst uh, the pins, and you can see the the red, blue, and green. And like I said, uh, green uh, is provided with uh, six bits and in fact uh, I believe on the um, 
on GHI's um, version with the resistor ladder um, they're not using green zero so uh, even though that signal is there they're not using it um, so that's why I had that jumper um, that selection there on um, on green bit 2 so either green zero gets uh, routed through or or that pin gets pulled to ground um, wait for the refocus vertical sync, horizontal sync um, there's a couple of pins that are used um, when you, uh, you're using this connector with uh, LCD but uh, they don't go through to anywhere and plus 5 volts which I don't think I'm using uh, that's also mostly used if, if you're using um, the, the actual LCD display uh, there's blank and uh, sync inputs uh, RF is where uh, you control uh, the current drive Uh, these components here uh, are filters. I haven't installed them, so that's really only if um, if your uh, analog signals are a bit uh, a bit dodgy. Uh, you can filter them, and the H-sync and V-sync signals um, they're just blips coming out of the embedded master module, and they don't need to get converted. And uh, up here, uh, like I said, there are a couple of different um, oscillators that I wanted to try, so I just uh, had three different uh, footprints on the board and uh, a couple of different jumpers to route a particular uh, crystal through uh, to the clock input. And the chip is an FMS3818. Uh, so I haven't tested it yet, I've only just put it together. Um, I'll give you an update uh, when I've done that. Cheers.